The controversial demolition of the Royal Jail on Bridge Street, Castries during the Alan Chastney led administration in 2020 left the police force with no place to detain suspects. In 2018, the Chastney administration authorized the destruction of the building complex to make way for new police headquarters and criminal court. However, the National Trust, citing the important history, secured a court-ordered injunction as the government agreed to further dialogue. However, in May 2020, the previous regime reneged on its word and destroyed the structure without consultation and without meeting certain milestones. The state, via the chambers of the Attorney General on April 21, 2023, formally apologized to the National Trust. The conservation group had been pursuing further legal action for the alleged breach. The apology comes along with a lawful consent order from the courts. Now the opposition UWP has requested that the Philip JP administration offer the same courtesy instead to Cabot St. Slusha for opposing that project. When will the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party apologize to Cabot for vilifying this particular company and doing everything in their power to ensure that they would not ever take root here in this country as a company? And it's so very hypocritical to see how this government have embraced that very same Cabot. Apart from Cabot, UWP Chair Therald Prudent wants the PA administration to do the same for the developers of the contentious DSH initiative. To issue an apology to DSH, to issue an apology to the citizens of this country who were grossly misled by your lies and deceit. Dating back to the 1820s, the Royal Jail was the landmark structure in the history of St. Slusha. It was the oldest known standing structure in Castries and one of the remaining artifacts from the colonial era. However, Prudent accuses the National Trust of hypocrisy on conservation and economic development. You also have and we, an explanation that must also be given, and that is from the National Trust. And that is, why is it that 30 trees were chopped down to accommodate jazz? When can the people or the citizens of this country expect to hear a reply or an explanation from the National Trust? as to why it has continued to cherry-pick between commercial activities and conservation, which it claims is its focus. In an April 21, 2023 letter penned to the National Trust, the government admitted that the demolition contravened the terms of a written undertaking. The Philip J.P. administration vowed to develop and implement measures to prevent the future recurrence of such unfortunate events. The state has to pay the National Trust $10,000 in legal costs. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.